Howdy, folks. That's my daughter, Brooke, back there. Hey. Say hi, Brooke. Anyway, uh, we're doing a little training mission. We're only a couple weeks before um, deer season starts here in Minnesota. And I have my dog, Callie, back there in the back. And she is my deer tracking dog. If someone loses their deer, not me, my friends. Anyway, I um, figured I'd give her another little training mission. And I've been working her since she was a pup. So I started off with little deer drags, a little piece of hide or a deer leg. I graduated her to uh, a little bit of blood and stuff. And then to just deer legs, just uh, clamping them to a stick. And then, you know, acting like a deer walking through the woods or from the, the, the point of the shot. And so that's where we're at today. We're going to do another one just to, you know, keep her fresh, you know, keep her working. Uh, I came out here... Um, a while ago and uh, took a deer leg and strapped it to a or clamped it to a, a pole and walked it down through the trail and through the woods and then up on a hillside next to a little tree and we're gonna see if Callie can can find it we aged the scent track a little while to, uh, to simulate to simulate a deer that's been shot and you couldn't find it and now you come back you call me and I've arrived on the scene so I started the track right here, this little dirt mound, you'll see a little deer track in it. I'm gonna get her started on. Come here, girl. Come on. Come on. Right here. Callie. Come here. Right here. Find it. Find it. Yep. Yeah, I had that one single deer track. Yeah, she does. So far it looks pretty easy for her. Now right up here at the curve, I cut up into the woods towards that white sign. Brooke, if you want to go to the up the path to the top of that hill there, that's when we pop out right below there. She's off a little bit, but she's looking. She knows she's off the trail. Find it. <clears throat> Come on, girl. She's back on it now. Seems to be pretty easy. Now this was just a deer leg that I just basically walked through here and I spaced it out like the deer was kind of trotting, galloping. Now there's a 90 degree here. Now she's going to take her right right into the woods if she follows it. I'm not sure trail. she missed it. There she goes. Yes? Just wait right there. Wait right there. That's where I'm coming out at. back on it it doesn't take her about a second to realize when she's off the track and she's not picking up any scent and she's trained to, to track a specific deer here's the deer trail we're on right now and uh, she should even though I see it on the deer track it's kind of thick and deep. even though there's more deer tracks in here she should be able to pick up the one that we're after She's back on it. She got off a little bit. And she's she's on it. And she's gotten so used to me being back here behind her that she's gotten to be become oblivious to me, even though I'm making a bunch of racket. Alrighty. She missed. 
She missed the trail back there a little bit. I had to get her. Ew. She got into the water. Ew, Callie. She got into the water and she just had enough. And so now she, she got kind of distracted by that, but now she's back on the trail. It's gonna go right across this ditch. Just you can stay right there. We're close to it. There's a trail. Listen, that nose work. We're gonna take a left right up here and go up the hill right next to those little pines. Bingo! Did you find it? Good job. Good girl. Let's see what you got there. Come here. She's very possessive. Look at her. She doesn't want me getting near a deer lid. Now, I'm interested in seeing how exactly she reacts when we come up on a full-size deer. She's never had to deal with that yet. But this, this was pretty simple for her. Just a deer lid. They're picking up those, uh, you know, the, I forget what you call the glands, in between the toes. And uh, just like human scent, everyone has their own particular odor. And that's what she's, she's tracking on. So good job, Callie.